make your juice spiky scary, she's delicious, juicy, tasty Libra. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Today we are doing you versus them, you and your person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in May 2023 in their person. Let's see what the drama is about. All right. Oh, boo-boo, Libra, this person, look, don't come for me, all right? Don't come for me, but this person believes you broke their heart. They're like, Libra broke my heart. How could you have done this to me, Libra? I know, I know, you're always fair. You're balanced out. You are just as herself, baby. I'm just saying that's how they're perceiving this. Somebody, yeah, see, everything is fine. Bottom of the deck, ten of swords. Somebody mm, through your swords is how they see you. Mm -hmm. There's an ending here. An ending occurred because Libra couldn't take uh, the shitty beh behavior anymore. And you called them out on something or, you know, you said something to them that they didn't like. But their behavior had been really bad for a long time, baby. And they didn't like being called out. They didn't like being exposed. There's something here about like you, they felt like you saw through them. You saw through the fake persona they were putting out there into the world. They were trying to, you know, make you believe that they're, you know, one way or, you know, one thing, but they're actually another thing. And they didn't like the fact that they knew that you saw through them, baby. <clears throat> and that Ten of Swords here is like denial too. This person's in denial about this ending. They're in denial. You know, somebody could have ghosted you here. If it's a bimbo himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, they actually ghosted you to avoid the consequences of being exposed by you. They didn't like that you know, you just know things, Libra. You always know things because you're, you're an analyzer. You're an analyzing scrumptiousness, de deliciousness, highness, you know. <clears throat> All right, but before I get into how much I love you, let me just say also welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you are new and if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you and I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Give me another kiss, baby. I love you so much, Libra. We're doing a live tonight, Sunday, the 21st of May. So if you're around 9 p.m. Pacific time, 12, I know it's like like 12, 12 midnight Eastern. I'm going to do a live. We'll do some love tarot. I'm going to take some PayPal questions if you have any for me. And we'll just like hang out and vibe. All right. So see you there, my baby. Uh, okay, let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. This person doesn't know they should be. I'll, I'll be honest with you, Libra. This person... Right now, your person doesn't know this douche flute. <laughs> it is a douche flute. The douche flute doesn't know if they can basically weasel their way back into your life. So they're calculating this too, two of, of pentacles. They're like, well, how do I do this? How do I do this? Um, you may have felt like their attention wasn't fully on you in the past, and now they're trying to fix that, but they, it's kind of like they're trying to weasel their way in. You know what I mean? They're still using those old methods, not the most high vibrational methods. They're trying to almost outsmart you here. The king of swords here in the past is somebody who is very emotionally unavailable, keeping themselves mysterious, distant from you, not telling you things that you deserve to know. You got temperance here on your side. You were trying to be healing. You were, you came into the, uh, the connection, especially if it was a bimbo himbo, anyone in between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, baby. You know, one of those, if it was one of those, you came into the connection giving your all, like, you know, trying to blend the two energies. You, you know, you're trying to find a compromise <clears throat> here between your needs and this person's needs. You're very... Um, attentive to that, listening to them, you know, wanting to know what it is that makes them tick, what they want, you know, what what are the red flags here. You were just trying to make the two people blend. And this person just wasn't playing along. They always felt like they were somewhere else in their mind. They, they could have dealings abroad at a distance uh, to do with money, finances, and a past family. So, you know, take that as it resonates. This is a general reading on the internet, so uh, you know you know how it is, Libra. Um, not everything will resonate for everybody. I'm just a random bimbo on the internet, you know, with an inflatable alien to my side, so just uh, bear that in mind. But this person had some kind of dealings. Their mind was always on something else, you know, their finances, their investments. They could have money issues. They also probably think they can't afford you right now, like something like that, or they can't afford a relationship almost. Uh, they're in some kind of trouble, basically, because it is a douche flute. 
<sighs> and they were emotionally distant. They were very like, you know, protecting themselves from the truth. That's the thing. They don't want to tell you things about themselves. And this is Libra energy too, this king. So, you know, they were very, very on the defense, uh, defensive against the Libra. Um, because they know that you see their true, uh, true self. <sighs> But you know, it's so interesting because this person is coming across almost like a little bit sociopathic, you know? Maybe they have like bad dealings like abroad because they're like, I don't know, they got some bad deals going on and stuff like that. But you're the person, you're the first person who broke their heart because they didn't like how you looked at them. They didn't like how you saw through them. And when you saw through them, they either blocked you, ghosted, or, or you just, you were like, I'm, you know, I'm not playing this game. So it was a super a new energy. Uh, also, it could have been someone who was just like so difficult to communicate with. You were like, okay, whatever. Um, if it was, you know, if you're married to this person, somebody who is always, always, always emotionally unavailable, uh, hiding behind all the excuses, you know, stress at work, stress at this, stress at that. Uh, maybe at some point you thought this person was cheating on you because they never seemed to have their mind on you, but their mind is on, I'm getting like business dealings, things in the distance. There's a lot of money issues around this person. Um, a little bit of a cat catastrophic energy. Knight of Pentacles and their intentions, they're slowly edging towards you, but like I say, they don't know what the plan is. They don't know how they can weasel their way back in. They just don't know how this is gonna happen. They're hoping it will. Taurus energy, we just came out of Taurus season, just coming out of Taurus season, the higher font, uh, and um, what to expect from them. They will be approaching you in the next five hours, five days, five weeks. Uh, for some of you, five months, but I don't think it's gonna take this long. Although Taurus energy can be slow moving, and particularly if you had a breakup or a separation with somebody and they went like to a different place, different country, different location, this person is trying to make their way back from that location back to you. Uh, and it might take some time. There's a lot of pain here, a lot of suffering for this person, baby. They're gonna say, let's get back together. Like, you know, higher funds, like, let's get back together. Let's try again. Let's marry again. Could be even a divorce that um, becomes uh, a non-divorce again. You know, like someone, you went through um, a catastrophic divorce and someone saying, Let's try again. <laughs> Marry me, baby. If somebody was non committal with you, you know, they're gonna come back with a ring, that kind of a situation. And it's gonna be very obvious, very, you know, they're they're gonna be very concrete about it. They're gonna come and they're gonna say that. It's not gonna be wishy washy. But right now they're not in the space for that. Right now they're still thinking like, how can I outsmart Libra and like make them think that I'm scrumptious? Libra, but boo, you know they're not scrumptious and they know they know that you know. That <laughs> they know that you know. Let's get some advice from my baby Libra. Five of Wands, you know, is the arguing worth it? <laughs> you did you did what you needed to do, Libra. You put in so much effort into humoring this person, I feel, in the past with that temperance. And so you, you were the healer. You were their doctor. How much more conflict can you withstand? So, you know, the lesson here is, like, if this person is to come back, they really need to learn the lesson of being your partner and not your, uh, you know, um, enemy, not someone who's fighting with you, but fighting by your side. So, uh, you know, that is something to ask for this person, something to verify before you make any commitments uh, to get back together with them. Interesting, deep denial, deep denial. I love you, I wanna get back with you, I'm in denial. <laughs> I'm in denial. Maybe that's the title of the video. All right, Libra, this is what I have for you today. Of course this person is in denial because Libra is so scrumptious. And there's, I'll tell you what, as a Scorpio, we're like that, you know? There's nothing like that Scorpio gaze and that Libra judgment. <clears throat> Sorry, baby, I'm losing my voice. I'm talking all day. Uh, vibing with the goddess. It's, been, it's a windy, rainy day in Cyprus. Um, Nothing like um, the judgment of a Scorpio or Libra, like, you know, it's all in the eyes, you know, the judgment of Libra and, and that Scorpio gaze is like, mm, that makes people feel uh, very uncomfortable and they uh, interestingly can't let it go after. So yeah, the, um, up to you Libra, it's all about free will on this channel. I love you, my baby. Thanks for spending your time with me. I'm always amazed that you choose to spend your time with me, boo boo. Uh, let me know in the comments below if this is your story. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below together with my magical services. If you wanna help your love life in the summer, uh, we can do uh, some spell work for you, uh, consultations on spell work, etc. All the information is in the description box below. Uh, see you in the live tonight if you're available at 9 p.m. Pacific time to hang out with me and my uh, alien. 
Um, what else can I tell you, Libra? You're just too scrumptious. Just, you know, be careful this summer because you're too, a little too scrumptious for the world, you know. Uh, baby, <laughs> I love you. Uh, stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Hmm.